Ambassador Wales, as you know, last month I let a, I let a letter to Ambassador Juster and Jones um, with UCC on it on the situation of Kashmir. Our partnership with India is strategic, but it's also based on our shared values of democracy, religious pluralism, and the respect of human rights. Under Modi and the PJP government, all of these mutual values have been threatened. And I think we have to understand the situation is in Kashmir as part of an overall Hindu nationalism project of the PJP. So my first question to you is about the right of self-determination. Is the United States committed to emphasizing the centrality of Kashmir voices in determining the future of the Jammu and Kashmiri people? I would disagree with the characterization of, of the, that we don't have a values-based uh, relationship with the government of Prime Minister Modi. And I would just underscore that Prime Minister Modi came in a consecutive term. He achieved a majority vote in a very uh, uh, diverse um, uh, we can, We can agree body. to disagree on that. I just would like to understand if we are and going the, to centralize the voices of the Kashmiri and... But just to Jammu. provide context, I mean, the actions he took were approved in, in Parliament, including by members of the opposition. The Supreme Court is reviewing that decision. The High Court is reviewing habeas corpus petitions. The, the institutions of India's democracy are working. We absolutely believe that a Kashmiri's voice needs to be heard, that in any uh, restoration, uh, when there is restoration of a political Political, of an assembly, when there are state assembly elections, you know, that, that's the way for Kashmiris to be able to register uh, their, their views, also in peaceful assembly. And so I think the concern over the restrictions on movement and, and what we've seen over the last 78 days is that that ability to protest peacefully um, has been difficult for Kashmiris to exercise. Yeah. I mean, and the part of the reason I asked and the part of the reason I emphasize the context of the larger PGP project is because I think the situation in Assam is, an, is as bad as Kashmir, if not worse. And I think in both cases, the impunity we have seen for crimes against Muslims under the PJP um, was warming for such worse things to come. In Assam, almost two million people are being asked to affirmably approve their citizenship. Uh, as my colleague and the chairman said, um, they've, there've been official statements to the effect that no Buddhist, Christian, Sikh, or Jain refugees need to worry about their status. And so this is a clear anti-Muslim program. And I'm sure you've seen the same reports that the Indian government is starting to build camps in Assam, presumably to hold those who are unable to prove their citizenship. This is how the Rohingya genocide started. At what point do we no longer share values with India? Are we waiting for the Muslims in Assam to be put in those camps? The, um, the certification of citizenship in Assam dates to a 2013 Supreme Court ruling that ordered the government to do so, um, to address questions of illegal immigration. Uh, the process, which continues to unfold and continues to be challenged in the court, um, it now has 1.9 million people who have not been certified. And that includes both Muslims and Hindus. There are 300 appeal panels that are being set up for those individuals to, uh, to appeal th this uh, determination. And as my colleague stated, we're concerned that many of these individuals who may not have the wealth or the education to successfully uh, be able to document their citizenship are vulnerable. Um, we will continue to watch this very closely, but I would stress that the, the appeal process is still open. The judicial process is still working in India. And as a democracy, we respect other democracies' abilities to self-police and self-regulate. And so this process is underway. Our voices have been heard. Your voice is going to be heard. Obviously, there's international attention uh, focused on this national uh, uh, citizenship registration. Processes of legalities can take place um, under uh, the justification of security and the such. The fact that there are 
public statements of having only Muslims um, prove their citizenship should be extremely alarming. Uh, and an excuse that we don't please other democracies um, is not one that should be acceptable to this committee um, or acceptable to the American people. We have to raise our voice of concern. We do that in many situations. This, there, should no, there should not be an exception in this situation. Thank you, and I yield back.